Can living in Italy improve your health? Well, we're going to talk about that today on Our Unspoiled Italy. Ciao a tutti! Welcome to our Italian adventure on the beautiful coast of the southern Italy. Before I start, I'd like to talk about the fact that this video was inspired by a question we saw, and it's like a lot of other topics that we decide to do videos on. They're uh, inspired by questions we get on our Facebook page or comments that are left in the videos, and we um, read all those, and we get a lot of ideas for our videos, and that's kind of helped shape how our channel develops. So if you do have questions, comments, please leave them either here in a video or on our Facebook page, Our Unspoiled Italy. And um, if there is something that piques our interest, we will try to put together a video. Everything in this video is my opinion based on things I've seen, things I've researched, but let's get started on what we found out. There are a lot of things physically that have changed for us uh, from being there for extended visits. Usually after two or three weeks, we find um, some differences in our health. I also attribute it to being in the South where life is different. If you're in the big city, it's probably no different than being in any big city in any country. But once you get out of the city area, and for us, that, that would be Calabria, where life has a different pace than we're used to and right away we find that our stress level goes down why because life is slower and we've learned to change how we deal with our day i said this before that when we first decided that we wanted to buy a place in italy one of my first requirements was that i didn't need a car and for me, that's probably the number one thing that affects uh, my stress levels. I don't get frustrated because things take longer. I find I've learned to adapt to the fact that everything is going to be slower. Sometimes I feel like when I first get to, to Scalia that everything has to happen right now and, I and I'm just going like I was going when I was at home. And I found that a couple of weeks there and I noticed a big difference. Sometimes even before we leave the States, I'll notice in, in the morning that I look haggard, I look tired, my eyes are tired, I feel like I look older. And um, one of the first trips we made there that was over a couple of weeks, so we were there for maybe a month. After about two weeks, I was noticing my face looked different in the morning. It was almost like I couldn't recognize myself. A lot of that tightness and the stress lines around my eyes had relaxed and I realized I was relaxing and that it was showing on my body. That's the first thing I noticed. Um, and one of the things that contributes to that is the fact that we walk everywhere. If we go on longer trips, we usually jump on the train. But the walking is really what um, makes a big difference. I notice um, usually when I first arrive back at our apartment, we're on the fourth floor, I can barely make it up all those stairs to the apartment. And usually after four days, five days, it gets easier and easier. And I find that I can walk longer, I can walk up and down stairs quicker, and um, it doesn't, I'm not getting winded. So obviously my, my health is improving and it's not from exercising, it's just from my lifestyle. It's nothing that I have to think about, it's just from the way it is. Uh, one of the things we noticed kind of early on was Irina has problems sometimes with her hip and it's harder for her to to walk a lot and walk up and down stairs. But again, when we've been at our apartment for a couple of weeks or a week, she started noticing that she has less and less pain and 
she can go up and down stairs and after a while she really doesn't have any pain she's not taking any um tylenol or or any pain medication and it it, it seems to improve she talked to her doctor about it and his only solution was he said maybe i should just write you a prescription to live in italy full time so um little things like that have shown up right away for us and we've noticed it and uh for us we definitely enjoy that improvement the quality of our life seems to have gotten better the longer we spend there and like i said i'm looking forward to when we can spend hopefully full time there i think these kind of things that i've just been talking about pretty much happen to everybody when they um, spend some time here in italy um actual health benefits for people with certain diseases is something that we started noticing through our friends. We have a couple that we know and the husband has diabetes and uh, the woman has uh, some heart problems and they have very restricted diets. They have to monitor uh, different levels all the time and um, there are a lot of foods they can't eat and a lot of them are their favorite foods. We had invited them to come visit uh, in Scalia and one of the first things that um, the husband noticed was that he could eat pizza. It's something that he really can't do in the States because his, his numbers shoot up so high that he really has to watch having more than a bite of pizza. And when he was in uh, Scalia, he was eating a lot of pizza, a lot of pasta, monitoring his levels and finding out that they were not elevating anywhere near what they would do in the States. His wife cannot drink coffee, have um, dairy products in the States. Yet in when she's visiting Scalia, she can do both of those things and have, has absolutely no reactions. Uh, they've made several trips back. In fact, they bought an apartment because they realized if their health was going to be this good by, by being in Italy, they might as well try living there. And that's what they've done. And it's really let them lead more of a, a life that they'd like to than they can in the States. In fact, when they come back to the States, they have a, a suitcase that they just load up with Italian pastas and, and several other um, things that they can only eat while they're in, in Southern Italy. So they made sure that they stock up, they bring them back, and then they can still enjoy them when they're here in the States. So the question is, why? Why? I did a little research on my own one day. Um, and I started looking at products like pastas, crackers, and especially products that are available in both the United States and Italy. Um, the one thing I started with was Ritz crackers because in the States, I used to like Ritz crackers. And I, in the last 10 years, I found I don't like them here as much in, in America, but in, when I buy them in Italy, I do enjoy them. The more of the consistency I remember. And I so I, I got a box and I was looking at the ingredients and on the Italian version, it said 100% Italian wheat. It's got like only three other ingredients. Um, it has flour, it has uh, some oil, it has salt. And um, that was about it. Very, very basic. I then went online and found the ingredient list for the American version of Ritz crackers, and it was a long list. Most of them chemicals, extra things, probably extra gluten somewhere. And, I, and I've kind of come to my own conclusion that what's happening is there's a strictness about what can go in foods. It's a purity law that you can't start just adding random things that shouldn't be in a food to a packaged product. Whereas in the States, um, the more chemicals, the better, it seems like. And my feeling is that 
it's the added chemicals that are causing problems more than the fact of the basic food. Um, like with my, my friend, the flour in the pizza and then the pastas in Italy weren't affecting his levels um, that he monitors very, we were affecting him very little and he could eat a lot more without the consequences he has when he's in the States. And so we've kind of come to the conclusion, it's the ingredients that we're, we're forced to eat. So um, just right there, we felt it's worthwhile to feel like there is a health benefit to, to eating foods in Italy. And I know in, um, in Scalia, the fish, the meats, the vegetables are almost always locally sourced. You know, you'll always hear it. Tomatoes taste like tomatoes that I've never, haven't had for years. Um, everything tastes fresher. It tastes um, cleaner. And I, I think right now that's exactly the what's happening. Um, you'd have to do a little more research to, to um, actually prove that. But considering that I haven't seen a tomato in a grocery store in the States, that comes anywhere near uh, a tomato that I've um, purchased or, or had in in, in Calabria. Um, so I'm going to go with the fact that things grown locally, grown simply, not far factory farmed, um, not sprayed with extra things to keep them fresh. I think again, you're eliminating a lot of poisons out of your life. So I'm going to say that there is definitely a difference that can affect your health from the quality of food that's available to you on um, a regular basis. You know, in, in, in the States, if you want something that's grown organically, it's going to cost you more. And basically, um, that's what you're getting as uh, daily food when you're living in Italy. You're getting food that was probably growing very close to where you you're eating it and um, so those are things that, that you can consider and I think they, they do make a difference um, again I think all of us have found that we can eat things that would make probably not agree with us in America but we can eat, eat them in in, um, in Calabria in the States I can't drink coffee caffeinated coffee forget it my heart goes completely crazy um, I like coffee and so when I'm in Italy I decided to, I'd give it a try and I, I can drink espressos I can bring drink you know lattes and I have do not have the reaction I do from trying to drink coffee uh, here in the States like I said I won't I can't it just um, makes my heart race and makes me too jittery. Uh, I definitely get get a buzz off the um, Italian coffees, but I don't get anywhere near the reaction I do to any coffee I have in the States. When I started noticing these things happening, I asked around online for people to tell me if any of these things have actually happened to them. It's possible it, it could be a fluke. I thought it was just for me, and then I found out my friends had profound effects from um, being in, in Italy long term and that they, they were able to cope with different foods that they couldn't uh, outside of, of Italy. So um, so I asked around and one of the responses I got was from a gentleman who said he had celiac disease and when he was in Scalia where he had an apartment he could eat everything that he couldn't eat in the States, all the foods that were um, not um, good for him, when he when he was testing and, and adding foods, he found he could eat pretty much anything and was not having anywhere near the problems or reactions that he would have if he had done the same things in the States. So what I hope happens here is this will start a discussion. I'd like to see some comments from other people who've um, been in Italy for um, long periods and 
So I'd like to hear from people in the description, in the comments, or on on our Facebook page, uh, what your experiences are if you've lived in Italy for long terms and you've had health problems. What have you noticed different? What can you eat that you can't eat? Uh, what kind of um, exercise can you do that maybe you can't do or you, you find you can get tolerate it better after a while in um, when you're living in Italy? It's something that I think happens. I think it's real. Uh, like I said, I've seen it. Um, I'm not going to make a 100% statement that it's going to be good for everybody because I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. But I, from just my um, experiences and um, what I've seen and what I've, exp I've gone through, I find that there is a huge health benefit from living in Italy. Um, it's the one thing that makes me really upset that we're, we're not able to completely transition over to living there 100% of the time. Uh, we're working on it. Um, so again, I really like to hear your comments, hear your experiences, and um, try to put together a good list for people who are planning to uh, move to Italy and have that question because it seems to be uh, a major question from people and I'd like to um, have some information, more information to give them. So hopefully this has been a little bit of help and um, like I said, let's hear some um, comments and if you like this video, please subscribe, hit the like button and we'll see you soon.